guys, welcome back. Let the games begin. We're gonna be working on bag number two today. All right guys, this is bag number two. I'm out back on my patio. I'm gonna do a short video of what's in bag number two from the Hoarder House. Um, it's all vintage clothing that I picked up and women's, um, like women's bras and underwears were thrown in there. I'm hoping you can hear me. I do have some traffic. I have a busy street in front of our property, but let's get started and see what we got. There's a back zip on this one, and the tag is 1960s. So just a nice blue pullover top. You can feel that these items have dirt on them. Like, I feel it on my hands after I'm... So I much prefer to do this outside instead of inside. Okay, so this one is a pullover also. The back zipper pull is broke on it. But this is just another knit pullover from the 60s. Another knit pullover, 60s, probably late 60s. Late 60s, early 70s. Oh. Let me finish my sweaters. Just another basic 70s mock turtleneck pullover top in blue. Here's a cute little 70s tunic top and there's the belt still with it. It's uh, Bay, Bay Harbor, size medium. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. I like the belt on that. It's like a little bit of a braided belt. Um, a knit 70s top. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that one. And this is a blocky knits probably 60s or 70s. The collar probably goes down on it. Maybe. Not sure how it's, how it's supposed to go. But really cute. Oh, this one is embroidered with a C. And the woman who whose clothing this is, some of it is, her first name is Catherine. Isn't that adorable? So this is Catherine's sweater from the, probably from the 70s. That's really cute. It's got some spots on it, some very light spots, and I will stain treat that and see if I can get those out. And, but that sweater should be good. Should turn out really good to somebody whose name is Catherine with a C. Um, just a 60s cardigan in navy. Okay, what's this? I'm not sure, my hanger's stuck. Looks like mohair. So pretty pink mohair from the 60s. 
or 70s. That's really nice. So nice. Soft and nice. Oh, skirt. 70s skirt, 60s, 70s skirt here. Let's try the elastic. Good, the elastic's good on the skirt waist. That's a nice little A-line. You know, one of the things that I did notice, this was a hoarder's house. I mean, it was packed full of stuff, but everything was clean. Like she was very clean, even though she was hoarding things. Things are dusty, but if, you know, you haven't opened your closet in 30 years and your clothes are in there and you, she put plastic over the shoulders to try to keep the dust off of them, but it's gonna get dusty. Let's try the elastic. This elastic is a little crunchy on this. Is it still a usable skirt? It's a really pretty skirt. Yes, and you know what? It didn't look like there's moth damage to anything. So, you know, he said there wasn't and uh, he was right. A little 60s, 70s vest. Um, another acrylic 60s sweater vest. Um, a sweater vest, a pullover sweater vest. And another sweater vest. A uh, wool polyester. And these are machine washable, so at least I don't have to worry about dry cleaning mills. And I like to wash everything and go through all the vintage clothing that I get before I sell it just to make sure I can fix things and I can disclose everything and that it's in the best condition that I can send it out in when somebody buys it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is a junior right. This is definitely 60s or 70s. So a little junior right. Um, zip up. This is sticky, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over somewhere else. Oh, this is kind of interesting. What is this? It's kind of, it's a 70s, 60s, 70s knit top sweater vest. Oh, it's, but I'm not sure how it's supposed to, I guess it's just embellishment there at the waist. <laughs> this is great. Look at this one. This is fantastic. That's a great print. That's a great print on that shirt. All right, I'm going to put shirts over here. Things that I can wash right away, I'm going to stick over there. Um, little sweater dickies. You know how I like my little dickies. So great. Something pink. A little pink sweater. A little pink cardigan sweater from the 60s. Another little orange cardigan sweater from the 60s. And this one has pilling on it, but I have a sweater shaver, so no worries there. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Look at the awesome print on that. And it also has like, oh, I bet you this is, I don't know if it's a belt or a scarf. Oh my gosh, that's great. I love that one. It's so awesome. <laughs> Another fun polyester 70s, and it also has the scarf on it. And it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. It's a size 38, and it is a shirt accent. So there's the label, in case you're a label person. I've never seen that label before.
Here's another 70s fun polyester Ruby is the label and it doesn't look like it was ever worn. She did a lot of shopping and I don't know if she ever wore some of this stuff. The man who was um, liquidating the estate told me he did have a sister who died when she was 22 and she was older than him and he was in his early 60s. So I'm guessing that some of this might actually be hers and she was actually, he said a model and um, she ended up getting cancer at 22 and she passed away. So here's a really neat little patchwork 70s shirt. Yeah, so I'm not sure if some of this maybe had belonged to her. This is a <laughs> this is a great shirt too. Okay, two polyester shirts, a red one and like a mauve one. Size 36 on that one. Size 38 on this one. Okay, so a 1970s polyester blouse. Now this one has some underarm stains on it, so I'm going to set this one aside. Oh, these are going to be fun. <laughs> this one's great. So this is a sheer one, 70s again, sheer, you know, that fun floral pattern on it. Very cool. I love the 70s shirt prints are great. Oh, polka dot one. So I'm doing a quick inspection of stuff. If I see like obvious stains, I'm gonna throw it aside and um, or holes or things that she was mending. We found some stuff that she was mending in the other one and two things that had some stains on it. I think they're all treatable. So we'll see how that turns out then. Here's a two piece set. <laughs> this one is, the print on this one's really great. And then there's the matching shirt underneath of it. love two piece sets. Here's a fun, this is a two piece set too. So this one's great. Throw that one up there. <laughs> a fun pool over 70s. This is a great print. I like this one. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that. You have almost like bell sleeves and tunic pullover top and then it has the belt with it. That one's really nice too. Oh, I love this one. Look at that print. This is a sheer um, polyester knit on that one, but the print, the print is so good. And it's by, uh, a brand called Coco Bay. So, there's the label, Coco Bay. How about this mint green striped? It also has a belt with it, or um, tie it around your neck and make a pussy bow tie out of it. Another wool skirt. I'm going to check the elastic on this. Okay, the elastic is shot on this one, but it's easy to replace that. 
if you are a sewer and I happen to be a sewer. Huh. A nice striped polyester blouse. So far, it seems like I'm getting a lot of blouses, which is fine with me. Um, here's a Lady Arrow. So that was a, you know, a good brand. I love that one. That one's great. And here's another one with a great print on it. She liked her separates. I didn't see a lot of dresses, so I don't think there are going to be a lot of dresses in my bags, which is unfortunate. I like my dresses, but I like fun floral prints too. Oh, this is a fun tag. This one's called Elle's Bells. So Elle's Bells. Another polyester floral shirt. A brown one. I guess I picked a shirt bag. Ooh. Oh, this one's fun. Look at that one. Oh, this is a Vera. This is a Vera blouse. Look at that. There you go. There's a Vera label. So this is a Vera blouse. This is probably in the 80s. So 80s Vera blouse. Really nice. It doesn't look like it was ever worn. Made in USA. Polyester. Probably 70s and 80s. Somewhere around there. So yay, happy to find a Vera blouse. Okay, well here's a skirt. And this one has a metal zipper on it. So this would be an older, an older piece does have its tweed. There's no elastic in the waist and it's a nicer large size. So that, and it's kind of like a mini skirt size, I would say knee length size. I like that one. Oh, look at this one. This is from a label called French Connection and it's nylon and made in the Republic of China. And it's seventies because you can tell from the the dagger collars on, collar on it. French connection. Okay, so the seventies. Here is a set, another 70s. Ah, the collar is so good on these. Look at, look at those pointy collars. I love separates. So I love selling separates. I love finding separates. Here's a little probably 70s cape. Crocheted little cape to wear. I can feel it needs a good soak, but it's acrylic, so it should clean up pretty well. Oh look, more funky 70s blouses. And a 70s button down cotton shirt. Hello cotton, haven't seen you for a while. Check this one out. Very lightweight and sheer. Paisley print. Are you counting my pieces? I haven't been counting, so I don't know what I'm up to piece-wise. Another 70s blouse. Oh, another Lady Arrow. I like this one. 
This one's 100% nylon. I think I totally had the Margaret cornered on blouses. All right, looks like we're getting into some leisure. These are heavy, heavier 70s tops knit polyester. Another knit polyester 70s top. I like these because you can kind of wear them as like an outer kind of jacket sort of thing. Goodness. 70s top layer the buttons are great on this you see the buttons oh this is great it looks like there might be some dirt or fade going on but we'll wait and see how that cleans up I'll inspect it again after I wash things and look for loose seams or anything that needs to be fixed. This is really cute too. Like I love the yellow and it doesn't look like it was ever worn. A little smock top, K2 smock 70s tops pockets in the front. This one kind of has a western kind of yoke flare to it. All right, um, it's like a romantic, probably 70s with the necktie. I think I got the blouse section. I think the whole thing is blouses. So I have that. This has a little dirt on it, but another like heavier, like almost jacket piece to it. Here is a 70s top. It doesn't look like it's been worn. It's a nylon top. And then another 70s top, but this one's a back button. Right, two more blouses. Another just plain 70s top. Oh, see the plastic get really brittle and they just break off. So another just button front basic 70s top. <laughs> I think she in the 90s started, she was still shopping in the 90s. So this is like a 90s a 90s like floral shirt and sweater combination. I think I remember these in the 90s, so I'm gonna throw that one over there. Totally different era. Okay, back, back to sweaters. So this one looks hand knit. So this is 70s. I think I can see the bottom of the bag. All right, so 70s sweater, 70s sweater, and then 70s sweater. They're all the same, just different colors. Oh, the bottom of the bag. Okay, so it looks like I have a 70s yellow button polyester shirt. And another 90s 
she liked this style if you remember my other bag I did she seemed to really like this style with the knit sweater vest and the shirt attached to it so that one's um, it's actually it says 90, 90 on it and it has the matching belt so yeah it is hot and humid out here so that was the second bag. I'm really glad I opened it outside here. As you can see, I probably got, I don't know, maybe 70 items in this. I think my bags are averaging maybe, this is the second bag now, I'll count it up. I think I might be averaging like 75 items a bag. So this was bag number two. It looked like it was pretty much a shirt bag and a sweater bag. <laughs> so I don't know what's in the rest of the bags i'm hoping for maybe some dresses i think there were some dresses not a lot but there were some dresses i just i'm not sure what i'm gonna find i know there's no denim i know no, there's no vintage t-shirts in there um in in what i picked up so i think it's just gonna be those bread and butter filler pieces right now and that's quite okay with me because i love that stuff too so tune in for next time and we'll work on bag number three Bye.